Hi, Ethan. Hey, Brianna. How are you? <laughs> I'm so good. How are you? Good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you for being here. Of course. Of course. Thanks for having me. It's great to talk. We're going to discuss your piece that was performed at Choreographic Works this year called Particulate Mass. Um, it was a group piece, very powerful in my eyes. What was the process like to create it? Hmm, okay. So, initially, the thought for the piece was just that I wanted to include, uh, I wanted to create something that just um, used very small, subtle movements, uh, including like vibrations, like twitching, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, essentially moving parts of the body that no normally you don't see. So like heads, uh, fingers, uh, you know, just very, very subtle subtle things that sort of make the audience like lean in and be like oh did they move something oh, you know? okay and so i wanted to base a whole piece around that mm -hmm. of um it ended up being a little bit more than that anyway but i can get to that later but anyway mm -hmm. that so that's kind of how it started and then cool. i decided to do a, a large large group because um i just thought it'd be interesting to see small subtle movements multiplied by many many bodies right because maybe then the audience can see it a bit better yeah or, yeah and that's sort know. of like yeah it, interestingly um when we had to write an artistic statement for it oh nice i wrote mine on, on that piece um and um a very interesting theme sort of came out from that like i wasn't even thinking about any um over world overarching theme mm. universal theme yeah but it ended up coming out in the sense that you know if you if you look too hard at like a single person mm -hmm. uh it doesn't look like they're doing much and if you focus too much on that person then you miss the the big picture oh. but if you look at the whole picture as a whole you will sort of neglect the small details that went into making that whole picture so it's a it's kind of about find, finding a balance of like what do you focus on do you focus on individuals or do you focus on the world at large right and when to do what or or do you have to focus in the middle you know what i mean mm -hmm. so That's very it, it ended up being sort of more universal than i intended mm -hmm. um, but yeah and so mm -hmm. so process process wise i i um Everything uh, came out of the dancers, everything. Yeah, like, that's just, awesome that mm -hmm. you could, like, get them to input a little bit more of their yeah, opinions, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, specifically with, uh, the, for example, the first, the first rehearsal I had was to build one of the unison phrases. Mm -hmm. And all I, all I had was I just got everybody to input one gesture, one small movement involving, I think the exact parameter I gave them was using one or two body parts it can be like a head it could be a hand an elbow just something very very small mm. and I had everyone just make one single gesture and then I had everyone show them and then put them together and that was that was a unison phrase and that was the whole first rehearsal there was like a series of at least 16 moves yeah there was uh I think 18 people 18 okay at the time mm -hmm. the, the the end ended up only being 17 people but at the first rehearsal because like a couple people got to drop there was 18 people so the phrase was 18 gestures long mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that would be so much to learn and perfect and sort of polish. yeah it kind of did take them a while and i didn't even realize because i wasn't doing it myself <laughs> but even just like <laughs> during show week I yeah was getting i i couldn't do it <laughs> i couldn't replicate the at all but i was like backstage trying to learn it and like, <laughs> same you know like and especially since you're like moving from like your foot to your like head and mm -hmm. then back to your arm and like it's not just like one body part exactly the time. it's a bit of a a, a mind game a mind game for sure to, to do that kind of so it definitely pays work. off to like have mm -hmm. all those body parts involved mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah. like gestures don't just have to be with the hands i yeah, guess you could yeah. say exactly, mm -hmm. exactly one of my favorites is when like Joel's on one leg <laughs> and he just twitches like his hamstring. Yeah, yeah, he like, just does so a little kick back. Minuscule, mm -hmm. right? Like very small, very small. And that was that was something I, I had to sort of get out of them too, is that I'll, because dancers aren't used to that. Like mm. a lot of them they for example that move like that was like a whole oops <laughs> <laughs> trying it in his face. He, yeah, he actually like kicked his leg out further and like I had to tell everyone like 
no, guys, like, make it smaller. smaller. Like, even even smaller than you think. Because mm. when there's that many of you, like, it reads. Mm. It reads very well. Actually, I'm very interested because I feel like you're on this path to, like, discovering almost, like, stop-motion animation in the body. <laughs> like, I, I, when I watch you, like, improv mm-hmm. and in the piece that you, that you were in with Rumi's piece which is another podcast, check that out, Um, you have these, like, very robotic, but, like, so small, like, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that something you're, like, trying to get towards or, like, figure out? Yeah, I think so. I think part of of the inspiration for doing this group piece on other people was that that's something I enjoy exploring myself. Cool. Is that, you know, I'm not, like, I'm not hugely flexy, like, most of the dancers in our class, so I don't really use my limbs a lot. (laughs) So, like, I, I sort of, I guess that's sort of came out as I was um, learning to dance initially. It was like, I already, I, I knew from, from the start, that wasn't me, like the, like the long kicks and the, all, <laughs> <laughs> all of the extensions. Like, I just couldn't do that. So I, I yeah. guess from a younger age, I sort of learned that this is my strength. I can do these small, um, small motions mm-hmm. with, with hard stops and like uh, a lot of waves as well. And that, I guess, the more I, improved like that the more I got better at it mm-hmm. so that's just sort of my strength now and very cool yeah, yeah. and and so yeah and I, I just, just decided that it'd be interesting to see that on other people mm-hmm. instead of myself so, yeah. yeah no that's awesome great um let's talk about music the the whole piece is split up into, split up into three tracks you said yes yes and for me like that brings more of like an opera sense to it because it's Mm -hmm. very um the first part is a little bit you know more intense then we get into this almost like like music movie film Mm -hmm. like it reminds me of like a like a martin scorsese film or something where it's just like beautiful like sounds (laughs) in the background and then at the end it's like so much more intense than the first part Mm -hmm. talk more to that how did you choose those songs those songs okay well um it Hmm. <laughs> big question <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's a bit of a loaded question because the thing is like I didn't I didn't pick the music until after like I said I, I came no in way. yeah I came in with the with the concept and um part of the process as well um with building some of the sections especially the the middle one the mm-hmm. with the middle song um it was it was based on improv mm. so like I gave I threw a random group of people together I said okay here's what you're going to do you're going to do some walking some running you can use some of your your gestures you can uh vibrate you can interact with each other transferring those vibrations um and i basically those were those were essentially all of it and i set those parameters for them and i put a random song on um and i gave them a five minute improv and a lot of Basically, everything that you saw in that section came out of, of those improv mm. uh, bits. So, cool. for example, like, I don't know if you remember the, the machine bit. Yes. I call it the machine bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's with, like, Joel, Moira, Matt, Rumi, and, uh, oh, I'm blanking. Selena? Yes, it was Selena. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was, um, that was, that, that came out of something that they did during the improv. No I was way. like, oh my god, that's so cool. That has yeah. to stand. Yeah, well, it definitely <laughs> looks like a machine, like it, it, all the moving parts of it. Exactly, you know? yeah. yeah. So I, I basically just told them to try to replicate it and then multiply it by mm. four. <laughs> and cool. that was that. Was that. So all of, all of that came out of the improv. And there was a couple songs that I was looking at prior to the rehearsal process that I decided to put on during the process, while they were improving, and so those were like sort of always on my mind, which to use. Mm-hmm. So the second song that I picked what ended up being um, just the best fit for me, in my opinion, out of, out of that list that I had already. Right, it sort of pre-sings. encapsulates what you yeah. had done before. Exactly. Because you wouldn't want the music to, I guess, um, overpower the movement mm-hmm. or... Mm-hmm. You know, I, not really fit. Yeah, I felt that one sort of mm. complimented them very well. Ah, nice. Um, the last section, um, that's with the like the unison phrase. Mm-hmm. And doing their own so thing. intense. That was, 
Um, so I, uh, musically, I didn't have a song for that section until the day of the audition. Okay. <laughs> so which was kind of hard to, um, but uh, <laughs> weirdly that worked out so well. I had like designed that section in, in such a way, like I, I sort of knew what I wanted for that section and I, I, I laid it out for them. And I, then I found this song that I was working at with during the process that I kind of liked, but I was like, it, it doesn't quite fit. But then I looked um, at another track by that same artist and that same album. And oh. that, I, I thought that worked so brilliantly. Oh, nice, yeah. And like, it, it was so weird. The, the tempo was perfect. And then there was like certain sound effects structurally um, it fit perfectly within the structure that I laid out for them. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it was so when great. When does that happen? Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, I had to, like, cut a couple of things out, but, like, there was a, there was a pause when I wanted one. Mm. And, yeah, it, just, it, it worked out perfectly. So that, that one was just kind of luck. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And then the, f the very first section, um, I originally had that part in silence, Right, um, with the three of them walking. Yeah, forward. exactly. And then that I call that section like the minefield section because it's oh, like yeah. as they're walking by, like they're sort of shaking. Yes, yeah. Um, That's nice. Yeah. So I originally had that in silence because I didn't know what I wanted for that. But then I thought it might be interesting to have some sound effects, some like basically either just like white noise or like the sound of static, mm -hmm. uh, like electricity. Because cause the whole piece sort of reminds me of like electricity mm. and 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 uh, particles like moving around and right around. So particulate I kinda wanted... mass it's exactly like small things that can make up such a big impact yeah exactly is that sort of that's sort exactly of what you that's, right that's exactly why I titled the piece that what it is like there's there's also a lot of sections where um, people are running around and they like sort of bump into each other and it's mm. very reminiscent of like how particles. Um, electrons and like yes. yeah, exactly and particles collide yeah. with each other. <laughs> that's taking me back to my physics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, totally. So that's, so that's the reason. And I decided to throw some, a track on, onto the first section. And so that one, I, I um, asked the sound designer for the show to help me out to look for certain sound effects because I wasn't sure like what's legally available. Mm -hmm. And so she did, and she helped me like she she basically just like found a bunch of sound effects for me, and then I edited it at home uh, myself into what ended up being the the little track for the first section. Perfect. Yeah, that's nice how it worked out. Like, because mm -hmm. it it really does feel like an opera for me. <laughs> And I think as an audience member, like watching, I only got to watch it from the side, but mm -hmm. watching it was like you went on a journey. Yeah. Like yeah. it really did not just stay the whole time at one pace or at one sort of... That's cool, yeah. Like, yeah, I, I didn't really... It's interesting that that happened because I didn't really have a like a narrative or like a story or through line or anything. I just like sort of made these sections. Mm. And then, for example, that beginning section, like I, it seemed to not fit with everything else so it it stands alone at the beginning as sort of like a first episode it's mm. like okay here's like sort of a, a little taste of what we, we got and mm. that's sort of why i attributed it to one track and then same with the second section is like this is this is a new episode this is a new thing that's happening and that's that was all the improv that was all the group sections that i or sorry, the group section that I made from there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so cool. yeah. it's interesting that it, it seemed like there was this, like, through line, yeah. you know, even though I never meant it to be like that, you know? Oh, uh, that's, that's so interesting. <laughs> cool, and maybe, like, we can talk about, about if you want to remount this piece or um, not, if you want to just I definitely, leave it in choreo. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. I mean, I definitely have had the thought. Um, even, <laughs> it's funny, I, um, Anissa asked me, actually, she, she, like, just recently, or very soon after choreo happened, she was like, so, like, are you thinking of, like, remounting it? <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> because she's like, oh, yeah, it was just, like, a good piece that I think would be, would be good, and I, sure. and, and oddly enough, I actually was thinking about it, and I, I thought, uh, you know, if it, and this is something I thought about actually before I even made it. I was like, you know, if it goes well, and maybe I could rematch it for Springworks. Yeah, like, that's our um, show next year in fourth year, and mm -hmm, it would mm -hmm. be, you know, not just five minutes, but 
longer yeah, than you know, 10. Yeah, exactly, because that was, that was one of the issues that came out of, of this, of the fact that it was a choreo piece, is the five-minute limit, is that right. I had a lot of extra material, and I could see f- where this piece was going, and I could see a lot more happening. Very cool. But I was limited to the amount of time. Yeah. I also think uh, it'd be interesting to have even more people in it. Uh, you know, For sure. uh, which and, and if if I were to remount it, I could see. You know, I'm not a huge fan of like. There's I, I'm not like trashing this or anything, mm-hmm. but the the processes of remounts where it's basically just reteaching the entire piece to new people. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not a huge fan of that because then it it's sort of it, it's sort of saying like. Here's exactly the same thing you saw before. Right, and these are different people. Yeah. They have different opinions about what they would input to the choreo. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I understand that. In my, in my opinion, yeah. I, I feel like if you're doing it with new people, then you should you should allow that to sort of change the piece. For sure. You know, For as sure. opposed to trying to keep it exactly how it was. Maybe, mm-hmm. like, there's definitely value in that, so I'm not, like, begging on anyone mm-hmm. who, who thinks that's better or anything yeah no i agree with you for sure yeah yeah, i definitely would love to do it with new people and like start completely from scrap Hmm. so like i said i would have everyone create new gestures and make a whole new unison phrase (laughs) and then again throw random people together to do some improv to make some group sections Mm -hmm. that was one of like one of the beauties i found about doing this piece was how just random interactions and random chance can can create something so beautiful and, mm-hmm. that, and you know the the improv sections I, I didn't I didn't put them together I just mm-hmm. said okay anyone go up and just let it happen exactly mm-hmm. and what ended up the groups that ended up did forming are people that you wouldn't really think would be good together mm-hmm. necessarily there are also people that like wouldn't necessarily go to each other first thing of like mm-hmm. okay Two people want to work together. Oh, like let's let's do it. You know, right? Like people like have that um, idea of who they always want to work with. Mm-hmm. But they kind of flock to that and yeah. stay in that comfortable zone. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But this forced them to not do that. You Very know? cool. So That's great. No, <laughs> like, yeah. like like I said, the um, yeah, exactly. So for example, the like the first section had um, Chris, Kathleen. Uh, Margot, Cass, and and Chick, which like when you when you hear those people, you you, you think like that's that's an interesting group, you know. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't I'm, I wouldn't necessarily put all of those people together at the mm. same time, but what ended up coming out of it was was really really great. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. It really just goes to show you that you can't really put any expectations on what you think is gonna happen. Yeah, just sort of ride it and let it let it out. And, mm-hmm. and that's that's definitely happen. that was the attitude I went in with for this piece in particular i i went in with just the concept and i had no ideas what i was gonna do like every rehearsal Mm -hmm. um i just sort of went in and decided okay let's see what happens and then i'll plan out the next rehearsal when this rehearsal is done (laughs) yeah stay in the moment kind of thing Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. love that great well thank you so much for sitting talking with me of course yeah thanks for having me yeah (laughs)